at today's big anti-health reform rally in Washington, former Republican Majority Leader Dick Armey gave a pep talk to the crowd as he introduced featured guest speaker Senator Tom Coburn. And then things got really weird, and my personal BlackBerry started having a conniption. I can't pass up my moment with Doc Coburn because the last time Doc Coburn, the senator from Oklahoma, who has practiced medicine all his life, the last time he and I were together, I had the amazing opportunity to watch him receive a lecture on health care from a woman named uh, 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 Maddox, a television personality who I'm told has a Ph.D. in something that doesn't matter, who knew she was qualified to lecture the good physician on health care in America because she had actually gone to a doctor once. So when, when, when Doc Colburn gets here, you ought to appreciate the fact that he had uh, the strength to stand up uh, to this world-renowned expert on health care. Yay, I'm famous! Uh, for the record, um, I think that what Mr. R. Mux was talking about is when he and Senator Coburn and I were on Meet the Press together. Um, when I heard that today, I, I did not remember ever lecturing Senator Coburn on anything, uh, but I went back and watched the tape of that appearance again, and it turns out that there was only really one back and forth between me and Senator Coburn in that whole show. This image this week outside of Portsmouth, New Hampshire, a town hall event that the president had, uh, this man uh, with a gun strapped to his leg held that sign, it is time to water the tree of liberty. When this element comes out in larger numbers because of this debate, what, what troubles you about that? Well, I'm, I'm troubled any time when we, we stop having confidence in, in our government, uh, but we've earned it. I take issue with the idea that the government has done anything to earn the kind of threats of violence that we have seen. I didn't say that. Well, you what said, well, I, David, what I said David, is what well, it is indicative of the loss of confidence. And when people are afraid, they do all sorts of things that they normally right. wouldn't do. I don't and think we have undermined by our actions, uh, whether it be earmarking and corruption and, and disconnection between integrity and character and what we do, and what the people expect. And this, these are just symptoms but, of a lack of confidence whether, in what we're doing. Whether or, not, whether or not the government has acted in a way that you feel is defensible, I don't think the government has done anything to earn, in your words, the, the, the threat of that the blood of tyrants must run in the streets, which is what the literal threat was from that man with a gun strapped to, <clears throat> strapped to his leg in New Hampshire. I don't think the government has done anything to earn that. That was my only exchange with Tom Coburn in front of Dick Army. Now, if Mr. Army thinks that I was not qualified to be in that discussion because Tom Coburn is a gynecologist and I'm not, I wonder why Dick Army thought that he was qualified to be in that room.